CD Projekt Red has been consistently supplying us with cyberpunk news almost like a dealer. However, us being the addicts that we are, we still crave more information, anything, anything at all. And now we have something. One of the biggest questions I, and I presume many others have had, is how big is the world of cyberpunk 2077 exactly? I'm going to read to you this article from VG247 that gives us a hint of the size and scope of the game. So let's begin. The overall size of cyberpunk 2077's world may be smaller than that of The Witcher 3, but each area now packs a lot more content. Content. Cyberpunk 2077's metropolitan world does away with the sparse approach to design seen in The Witcher 3. Developer CD Projekt Red is going for a denser, more crowded game compared to The Wild Hunt, even if it means cutting the overall size of the map. If you look at pure surface in terms of square kilometers, then Cyberpunk 2077 might be even a little bit smaller than The Witcher 3, but it's the density of the content. Taking the world of The Witcher and squeezing it right in, deleting the wilderness between, producer Richard, I can't pronounce his last name, said. Obviously, in The Witcher 3, we were an open world with vast lanes and forests in between smaller cities and larger cities like Novigrad, but in Cyberpunk 2077 we're set in Night City. It's an integral part of the setting, it's essentially a protagonist if you want to call it that, so it has to be denser. It wouldn't give us the end effect we wanted to achieve if the city wouldn't be believable, so we packed it full of life. This likely bolsters the ability, this likely bolsters the ability to enter buildings which adds a new vertical layer to exploration rarely seen in Wild Hunt. This may, however, make it more challenging to navigate, but we won't be able to say for sure until we see it in live action. So that is the end of the article, unfortunately. However, there are some things to dissect. The first thing being the ability to enter buildings. In The Witcher 3, we could enter houses, but in cities like Novigrad and such, we could only enter buildings that were quest related or shops. The article kind of made it sound like as though every building in Cyberpunk can be entered, and as far as I was aware, that wasn't the case. Yes, a large amount of buildings can be explored, but all of them? That's very unlikely. Remember, it's not just about the width of the world, it's also about the verticality. There are buildings that soar high above the player's heads, almost like New York City. We didn't have that in The Witcher 3. This would be like being able to walk into any building in GTA 5. It's really hard to imagine. Not just that, but interiors would have to be done for each place, as well as NPCs to live in them. This would take an insane amount of time to do so, and I don't think that's why Cyberpunk has been in development for so long. So yeah, I don't think that's true. Another crucial point is the comparison between the worlds of The Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk aren't justified. It's not fair to compare both games in terms of overall scope, as The Witcher 3 has multiple separate regions, whereas Cyberpunk has just one big open world. The Witcher 3 has had expansions that add areas, Cyberpunk hasn't. Yeah, that is. And lastly, The Witcher 3's world is made up mostly of forests and open fields. Cyberpunk is all buildings. The person being interviewed here said it best. It may be smaller, but it's more dense. A bigger world doesn't necessarily make it better. Games that are too big lose detail. You end up walking around in vast open pretty areas, but have nothing to do. Cyberpunk won't have this issue as it's already been confirmed mini games and other side activities are there in the world to keep us entertained. Also, the world is still going to be huge. Just because it's smaller, doesn't make it small. Excuse this blatant innuendo, but it's not about the size, it's about how it's used. Unless you have a small PP. Anyway, CD Projekt Red has confirmed they'll be showing off 15 minutes of new Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay later this week. Hopefully we'll get more answers then. Cyberpunk is releasing in mid-April 2020 and I'm pumped like a bicycle tyre. Well that'll do it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it so I can keep you up to date with everything going on. Thanks for watching, bye bye.